So, hi and welcome back to my Sims 4 Not So Berry Legacy Challenge. Let's just put it like this, our Amintas life has actually been quite eventful already and I'm really happy with where we're taking things and you guys also seem to- Oh, this really- <gasps> looks so nice you guys also seem to be really you know into the series and really enjoying where we're taking things and i do appreciate that a lot your guys support does really make me happy and i just i'm enjoying the series a whole lot it's like one of those series where i just keep getting ideas and i'm writing them all down and i just want to like do a bunch of stuff and it makes me really excited but we know that in the last episode we obviously since the first episode have carmilo here who's a scientist who's always really doubting us and kind of like telling us that we should not be scientists and we kind of you know obviously not doing good with him we did fight him and then at work we actually started talking to this girl jalissa and it actually turns out no i can't afford that right now i'm sorry Wait. okay oh my god this is actually perfect so jalissa at work who's that elderly lady we kind of went with the story that she's sort of doing things the old style way and she thinks we're too young and irresponsible and the fact that we don't really plan a lot we just go with the ideas that we have at the minute like the flow that we kind of get from doing science which is why we love it so much so she actually is being really rude to us and i kind of think that maybe her and carmilo maybe carmilo's been spreading rumors about us and jalissa and carmilo might have like gone together and start spreading rumors because we did get a text from from i think it was lily she was like you know there's been rumors going around about you and now in fact leslie who's a friend is saying the same thing did you really catch something? I haven't done anything wrong, but in fact, we know that Araminta doesn't really take things in, so obviously she's not really getting affected by it. In fact, she is actually, I mean, she is feeling like, you know, she really doesn't like the drama, but as you can tell, she is more playful than anything right now. And so it's actually perfect that Leslie just called us. But yeah, can you go get something to eat? We did also kind of get a bit closer with Jess. So Jess and Leslie are, we're quite good friends with them right now. And I'm really happy that we have some friends because we are kind of having people doubt us a lot right now. For some reason, we did also meet up with some cats because I do feel like Araminta wants to get a little baby Hi. cat. And I don't know, they were all strays and kind of, we did get to know them and we'll see where we go with that. And then also, I played a work day mm. off camera, and in fact, Araminta did get a promotion. I don't know if I can find it here somewhere. Yes, here we go. So she's a junior tinker right now, and we did also get some new money. We have a Simri that she invented, which we have a few things in here, but I want to add this to here. So we got a duplicate of this little element, which is mint, so I decided to go ahead and keep it. But in fact, we do actually have some elements that have just arrived so i they've been here in here since the morning but i wanted to wait until now to do this with you guys and to start the elements collection off because obviously we have been doing that at work we're working on the skills everything we need for the generation pretty much but we still have time for some fun things to happen and in this episode i have quite some plans i was want to you know check out some more cats kind of see where we go with that i do kind of like the idea that we're not super we don't have a bunch of money so if we want to go ahead and cause mischief which we need for our aspiration as part of a rule is that's co to complete that is one of the rules we have to go ahead and head on over to a library so i think we could do that maybe meet some people and have all of that going obviously there are rumors going around about us right now which is really like uh, i don't really know but as you can see she's focused she is not really taking it all in when she's thinking about her career she's not she's not thinking about the rumors a nice little sunset she's more like you know people can talk trash about me to be honest i don't really give a damn because i'm getting promoted you know my work is actually paying off right now and we have in fact started the elements collection so so Jess has kind of been calling us about parties and stuff. I don't know if I'm into a party and I don't really have anything planned for like, you know, her meeting someone. I don't really know. I kind of want to have her like meet someone because obviously she's the kind of person who don't really think about that. So obviously as of right now, she does not have that in her mind at all. She has, you know, what's currently going on in her mind. And if she goes out and meets someone, in that very moment she might be like oh hey you're cool maybe i'm into you which also could lead to some like lots of decisions and like things that might happen pretty quickly if you know what i mean she's about to go view her mint uh, 
her new possession. Okay, yeah, she's materialistic. So maybe we go out tonight and just, you know, get catch up with Jess and Leslie a little bit and see if, you know, people might kind of recognize us from the whole drama happening. I don't really know, but okay. We have a 3 oh wow. A lot of duplicates. Let's go ahead and see. So, Sigilin, we have Gublek, and the rest is um, just single ones, so that's great. So, we can go ahead and put these all in here. Get these sent up. Oh, yes, here. She was really happy about this. I mean, this looks awesome. I'm kind of really excited for this. I'm not a person who's super into science, but I'm not going to lie. This is quite cool. Ooh. Some great money right there. It's actually getting a little bit late, but she doesn't start work until pretty late. So, question is, where do we want to go? We could go to the library, get started on the mischief, but I, I don't know. Would she really do that on 9 p.m.? I don't know. It is super windy, but I decided to bring Jess and Leslie here just to catch up with them. And while we're at it, I guess we can go ahead and finally give it Jess her well-deserved makeover. But I was actually thinking, I kind of want to see. I kind of want to see what gender our Minta prefers. But I don't know if there's, I mean, I think you can actually go in here and you can set gender preference, but that doesn't like tell you. Is there any way I can like, like, I don't know, like randomize it? Cause I don't want to have to pick. And I thought like through MC Command Center, they could kind of just like, but I guess we'll kind of see when she meets someone and have to make up a story on that but i don't know i don't know what's gonna happen i'm kind of excited because i feel like she would be a bit like oh she can tinker on a computer i feel like she'd be a bit like i said impulsive and kind of you know have something big happen with someone one night and then the next day kind of regret it because she didn't really know what it would actually mean so oh this is really cool so you go up here and then you climb down apparently i don't know but jess is already here so a bit of a chill late night library visit and then we can obviously do something more fun another day but for now this is actually a real cool place and maybe someone walks past maybe actually troll the form so everyone's gonna go grab a computer and it seems we seems like we're friends with similar interests and we can actually have fun even though we're at a library and our minta might prefer to do something that's more fun than sitting at a library even though she just love trolling the forms you know it, it could be for another day tonight it's just gonna be very relaxed with the friends okay so here's jess oh this is really cute she has a husband and a daughter i love that for her i have this new skin which looks really cute on her so tell you what i like that a lot and then she keeps her hair like out of her face kind of oh look how cool that is on her but maybe something like that like simple i feel like that's how she'd go yeah. Oh, look at these new pants. They're so cool. I don't know if they're like her vibe, but I kind of want to give them to her just to uh, try them out. Mm -hmm. In a green, they're a little bit nicer on her. Okay, so this is Jess now. She obviously works in the military, and she is real cool. No okay. Way. Oh, look at them. They're friends, too. It's so cute how we're all like, we have a little bit of a, a bond. And Chami. yeah, we can sit and talk Chami while it being Chami. mischievous. Tell a dramatic story. Chami. Definitely something our Minta would do. Maybe about like Jalissa at work. But the work day I played off camera. I mean, we were mostly working. Not a lot of drama happened. I'm trying to keep it for like the whole when filming and whatnot. So I feel like I want to see if anyone's turning up. We have no one else really turning up at the moment, but it's obviously getting really late, so it does make sense. Okay, so we just did it one time, and we now really have to pee. I think it might be time to head on back home, and... Okay, I think it might be time to head on back home, and I will see you guys in the morning with some new plans on what we can do tomorrow, and I'm just like... Please let me know if you're enjoying this series because I really really am. She's most definitely getting tired So it is time to head him back home right now. Okay, so Armindas apparently having a breakthrough from just I don't know standing just waking up. She gets some crazy ideas Just when she wakes up, which is cool, you know every morning. Maybe that's when she comes up with you know her ideas, I guess, but she actually has woken up with, why don't we cook something this morning to kind of, you know, she hates cooking, we know that for a fact, but you can still try, you know, make something nice and vegetarian safe for breakfast. And she also, like I said, she's woken up with a desire to actually complain about love life from being jealous. So she wants to actually complain about love life. And I'm gonna take this as a sign that she's like, you know what? 
today I kind of feel like I want to meet someone. I don't know. I haven't thought of this before, but right now I'm like, I'm going to go out and try to talk to some new people and we're, we'll see where that takes me. I have no idea. I guess we'll just have to see. I think that Araminta wants to go on out after work. I don't think she's decided where. I think it might be like a bar or, you know, could even just be a park anywhere. Literally anywhere. I think a bar could be quite cool though for her. She has never been to one in Strangeville, of course. And this is something that she's just decided right now. You know, obviously she has not shown any kind of sign of wanting to wanting to have like love in her life and whatnot which you know is kind of how she is she decides on something and she kind of does it at that very moment and so that's what she wants to do today after work and that's what we're gonna let her do so after work today i think she might gonna go on out all by herself <laughs> and see where all of that takes her so right now when it comes to her co-workers we obviously are quite good friends with noah dayton as well oh, actually genesis she was real sad and i was thinking my initial plan when we first started working was that we we're gonna hate genesis because she was really mean maybe it goes hand in hand with us being mischievous and we don't really take stuff seriously so we don't really take her being mean seriously and we kind of get along with her so, but i my my what i thought was gonna happen was that we we're gonna kind of hate genesis and love jalissa turns out everything played out the other way around which is quite weird but quite cool at the same time so genesis is definitely another one of her friends but yeah let's go ahead and do some logic i think she still needs to read level one even though she is like level three or four but i think that we will soon be able to move on to volume two and we also do of course need to have breakthroughs so we'll read a little bit and then maybe have a thoughtful shower before work we're always focused going into work which is honestly amazing i think she is just excited for after work meeting some new people and obviously she wants to like complain about love life so i think she might want one which is you know i wasn't really seeing that but obviously you never know with our minta so okay a fifth breakthrough that's amazing and let's have a shower because we start in one hour so let's have a long nice thoughtful shower and now it's time to head on off to work all right feeling all confident starting the day off like as always fallen it always happens but it puts her in a playful mood which is absolutely what, what am i saying which is absolutely amazing let's go ahead and do a little bit of digging before work to get that out of the way because elements collection is obviously quite what are you doing elements collection is obviously quite important so yeah the lab is looking i i love this lab i'm enjoying it because it's so it's so cool in my opinion so yeah let's see what everyone's up to nox is sitting up here working on the computer where's everyone else genesis is here so obviously we're kind of bonding with her which i wasn't expecting but it's quite nice we want to ask her for a medal really quickly oh is she still sad you guys she's been sad every yeah. single day and she has tears in her eyes can we like ask her i just i'm so i want to know <laughs> and then day 10 we can go ahead and talk to him and then practice some analysis. All right, hi girl. Uh, Give her a hug. Hopefully, hopefully we can make her feel better because I feel quite bad. And now it's time for us to invent the hover lamp. And then, ooh, first time we're outside here to work on the rocket, which I'm really excited for. Oh, there we go. Look at her go. Look at her. Okay, I'm so okay. I'm so proud of her. Okay, Nox is here cuddling trash. <laughs> Oh, that's so cute. Of course he would. Of course. We need to also get a DNA sample for someone. So because we're really close with uh, Genesis. Oh, never mind. I mean, I guess we can take one, but we're actually done with everything we need to do for today. And we had a breakthrough. So this is great. And what? And after we ask her for a sample, I guess we can come up here and just work on. I guess we can come up here and do a little bit of trolling the forums. Did we get a, yeah, so we got a DNA sample from Genesis. So here it is. Maybe we can do something with that tomorrow. But for now, let's chill out with Noah and do a little bit of causing mischief. And we just finished trolling the forums a second time. So now we only have to do it one more time, but our work date is actually supposed to be finished right now, but apparently it's not. What's happening? I wanted to go out and, you know, meet people cause she actually is kind of looking for love life, but there we go so we did a fantastic job and we're actually doing pretty good with our whole money situation so obviously she is materialistic i think she would love to go out for like a fancy dinner but she doesn't really have anyone to do it with honestly she's a 
person. She's a girl who could do that all by herself, but maybe it would be nice to go out and actually meet some people before that. And okay, Jess is actually calling. Oh my god, we've been thinking about trying for a baby lately. Do you think we should do it? We want to, but we're not sure it's a huge responsibility. What do you think? So her and her husband, definitely. I mean, okay, as her Minta would do, she would not say, well, plan on doing it. She would say, go ahead and do it, because that's what I do. I make decisions just whenever I want to. So you should go ahead and do that as well. Did she say something? All right, well, I think, yes, we'll do it. Thanks for the advice. We're having a baby. <gasps> and we became good friends. Okay, I mean, okay. You know, maybe that makes her think about this whole thing a little bit more. Not that she would want a baby, but like maybe she is just like, all right, I want to try meeting someone. But I also don't want it to be super smooth or whatever. I want like things to happen, of course. That's so sweet that Jess would contact us about it. And you know, ask us what we think. What's making such a weird noise? I have no idea. But I'm really enjoying the fact that Erminta has friends that are actually relying on her. What is some weird noise going on? Okay, maybe she would be like, okay, I'll go out to a restaurant. I don't care. I don't give a crap about the fact that I am single and going out and you know, eating just for myself. I don't care. I'm gonna go ahead and get a nice dinner, so let's go ahead and have her go to the garden restaurant. Romantic Aura, okay, maybe she'll meet some friends here. All right, so look how freaking cute and nice Arminda's looking. Look at that shirt, it's really cute, like, oh, and it's so nice to have a restaurant. Okay, Noah, who we work with once, is to go over to his house and hang out. I mean, right now we're kind of having a nice trip to the restaurant. But, you know, we might want to hang out with him some other time. I guess we'll have to see, but this is a real nice restaurant. But then also, it's, like, located outside where you sit down and it's full of, like, colors. Everyone's just watching the, the TV right now. And, but yeah, everyone's just hanging out by the TV. And Araminta's actually talking to, talking to this guy right here, Ken. They do actually know, I don't know if they know each other, if they just bonded really well right away. But let's be a bit funny with him, see if he likes our humor. So Ken Lyons, Leons, I don't really know how to pronounce his last name, but... Also, there's a bit of a fight going on right here. I love how, you know, everyone's kind of reacting, except our mint. Okay, maybe she's about to react. No, she's not reacting, actually. She, you know, she's just watching. You know, I, this is not new to me. I've fought people before. Be a bit mischievous and claim to be a criminal mastermind, because that's her when when getting to know people. She kind of, you know, throws throws in a bit of joking and being a bit mischievous, which some people seem to enjoy, some people seem to not really enjoy. And you know, are you kidding me? All tables are okay. There is no table for us. No table for us. Okay, well. Um, why don't we just have her sit down and wait for a table to be... Okay, there we go. They're leaving. They're leaving. We can go request, I think. Why is everyone fighting? I'm so confused. Okay, everyone's leaving their table, but... Wait, look at this. Look at this. Araminta's feeling envious from Jealous Trait. It's hard to see other couples together when you don't have anyone special in your life. Oh my goodness, she really... Okay, this is all hitting her right now. Like I said, you can't, you don't really know what to expect with Arminta, but right now she really, really wants to, really, really wants someone right at this moment. Can she not go make a drink? Uh, we still can't request a table. I just want to eat. We came out here to have a nice, look at him. Did you like it? I don't know. But we can't really request a table, which sucks. Can I just like add a table? I'm gonna attempt just adding a table and see if it works. Cause you know, we want to eat right now. It looks like he's enjoying talking to us. Maybe we can add him to a group and see if he wants to eat with us. I don't know, he's a bit tense. Gossip about neighbors and then request a table. I haven't seen him around, so I think he might be like from the city maybe. But it's nice to get to know him. And yeah, also I don't know why there's so much fighting going on. It's kind of getting everyone super distracted. Oh, he's sitting down, so we have got this table. This is so weird, just eating with a complete stranger, but you know, whatever. We can just, you know, see if we can get to know him a bit. Araminta just wanted to be kind, and she kind of got to know him really quickly. So, are they fighting now? 
Did Ken just get in a fight with him? I have no idea what's even like, going on right now. It's getting real freaking late because this took a while. But yeah, why don't we go ahead and get ourselves something to drink. And let's get some vegetarian French toast. I mean, it looks really good. I don't know if it's that good of a main um, course, but to be honest, it just looks delicious. So hopefully we can get the food fairly quickly because we do have work tomorrow. Can we like clean this up? I know we shouldn't have to clean it up, but it's kind of gross. They're putting dirty plates on our table. He got beaten up and now they're fighting again. I don't know, but this keeps getting everyone so distracted. I don't know if we're gonna be able to freaking, look at everyone being all beaten up and whatnot. Ken, why are you such a badass? Why are you beating people up? Maybe we can, you know, be like, oh, we're kind of similar. We beat someone up the other day when we had just moved here, you know, because it was a rude scientist. Maybe we can ask what he works, if he has a career or whatnot, so we can see what he does. Wait, our food is here? I don't think this is a, this is not our food. Should we have her complain about? He's feeling fearless right now after that fight, even though he got beaten up. So he seems to be quite similar to us actually. Fearless after fighting and actually gotten beaten up. Uh, what did I want to do? Complain about love life. There we go. Can we do that? Our food is here. Our food is finally here. But let's go ahead and complain about love life because she really wants to. Okay, Ken's back at it. <laughs> Ken's fighting again. I'm kind of interested in why he keeps getting into fights. I am quite interested. I don't know. We're not really getting our food. I have no idea what's going on. Maybe this is our food. We have- okay. Finally. Finally our food is here. Okay, this is so exciting. This is so weird. I hope this is not considered as like a day. No, it's not. It's just out to dinner because obviously we just kind of decided to ask Ken if he wanted some food. I don't know, maybe he couldn't afford it by himself. I'm interested in his story, but should we go ahead and give our new friend a makeover? Maybe we should, and then we need to head him back home. He has a tattoo with a heart, but let's go ahead and give him a quick makeover. Okay, so here we go. We have, they've both finished their drinks before the food. Oh, what is he? He was thinking about love. Okay, he obviously is quite beaten up right now, but this is Ken after his makeover. I realized there aren't many CC creators that do red hair colors, so this was the best that I could find. He is actually a bit dazed, so I think he is. I am now realizing it is actually so late, so it's probably time to head him back home, but it's fine. One, you know, just once in a while we can be home. Oh, no, wait. I just left without paying. Maybe we should go ahead and end the meal and pay the bill. They barely got to eat, but to be honest, it's getting so late. So it is probably time to go ahead and wrap it up. Can you pay? There we go. And now let's send it back home. All right. So today I played most of the work day off camera. <laughs> so what happened pretty much was that Araminta mixed a rose serum that she drank and she got pretty flirty, but you know, it um, did go away pretty quickly and also I had her cause some mischief because she was really quick with finishing all of her tasks and she completed another milestone so now she has to pull 10 pranks which is going to be quite fun and achieve level 6 of the mischief skill. We're currently at level 4, 5 I mean, a level 4 logic and I also got a notification about the spice festival being in town so maybe we should go there and bring a few of our co-workers when our work day ends just to kind of get to know them and i think it could be fun and we could possibly bring just a few of our friends so that will be jess and leslie as well and maybe our new friend ken ken lyons i think was his name so we might go ahead and bring him as well but there we go, we've done some digging for today. She's gonna go ahead and chat with Noah before ending her work day for today. And then she obviously has the weekend off after this, so if you want to, you could always leave suggestions in the comments for what to do. What? Oh, he's sad? Why is everyone so sad? Now Noah's really sad as well. I don't know what's happening, but you know, so maybe leave suggestions for what you want us to do during the weekend, what we could get up to. Okay, but I think we'll head on right off to the Spice Market or Spice Festival right after our work day ends. And then I kind of want to fix, we have a little bit of money in that home. I'd really like to actually, like our little science area with everything we've gotten from. Oh, we did a really great job and we got a vacation day. So we did a fantastic job. But yeah, what I was trying to say is that I really want to like fix that whole area in her house and make it even cooler and put up you know posters we've gotten from work and just make it look super vibey 
fill it up with plants because we do have a little bit of money so we could spend some on that I think. We're gonna get a little bit of mail and then also send everything into the Geo Council. I'm not really sure what we have and what we don't have but I haven't seen these before so I'm gonna go ahead and send them in. Okay let's see. So yeah this whole area we always have a few things from our work. I want to make it a lot nicer and just make it look freaking epic like I'm so excited. So did that go in? I think it actually did. I'm not sure. This did go in. Okay. So we're missing five. We got ten. So you know that's great. We've got two thirds of what we need. Now let's go ahead and travel to the Spice Festival. Bring the co-workers who we are closest with. Which is probably Noah, Knox, uh, Dayton, Genesis of course. And then Letsley, Jess, and Ken. And let's go. Okay, so this is quite a big group. This is like the first time we're seeing all of our co-workers like out of their lab codes and whatnot. But yeah, it looks like Ken is actually still beaten up and he's looking like- everyone's looking like they're feeling quite uncomfortable. Noah actually looks like he's been through a heartbreak, which I feel really bad. Let's just go ahead and brighten his day. And now Jess and- oh Jess! Jess and Leslie are meeting our co-workers. It's quite weird just inviting them out. They don't even know them. But we'll talk to them and make sure that they feel all good because we kind of know all these people so i don't know i hope they're not uncomfortable they feel like quite social people though so i think it's fine so oh wow look at that sunset looking really really pretty wow it's real pretty why is that ken why is the relationship so low with him <gasps> is it what happened Guys, we were friends. This relationship is tense, but they were like really good friends from yesterday, and now. Did he start the fight or we? Because he started so many fights yesterday, but with us? We were friends! Man. <gasps> Look at everyone! Elemental, what are you doing? What? Is he seriously. Is he like on a mean streak or something? Why would he do that? They are now- they despise each other. Like, they absolutely hate each other. And our reputation is bad. Did we start it? I don't know, but we despise Ken. Like, completely, all the way down. Okay, but we're literally twins because we've both gotten beaten up. But honestly, you guys, they were getting along so well. Look at Jess and Leslie, like, Araminta, what? in the whole freaking world are you doing? Why did you bring him if you guys hate each other, which we don't? How did that just happen? Like, they were friends and then they- Aww. the relationship just went down? You know what? I think you should leave. Why did you just fight me? Let's go ahead and argue and then just like send him off. Like, there you go. He's now gone. I don't know what that was about. No, like, I really... <gasps> She's scared and she has the same type of humor as us. Let's ask our friends for reassurance. And let's let's ask Leslie for some reassurance as, as well. And then, do you think my relationships with people are strong? I don't get if she's asking her or... I don't know. But let's go ahead and do a try and joke. She's doing very dazed after he just fought her. I don't know, I can't imagine her meant to doing that because they were really good friends. But at the same time, her reputation went down, so it's almost like she started the fight. Let's all come over here. Oh my god, I thought things were going really well, like a super nice friendship with Ken. You know, I think we might need these plans for- what's his music? What's up? I think we might need these plans for our signs, but I want to take some photos to save with like people we know. So maybe we should actually go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and take a photo with Noah. Leslie is breaking out, which is real cute. And also Jess, and probably Genesis as well. Oh no, she's gonna be all beaten up in the photos though. Okay, she just looks really tired. It's, it's fine. It's fine. But I don't want her to be all bruised. I mean, we get it. She has been hurt in the fight, but let's just... Just hold your, your pee for a little bit longer. I know it's not good, but I'd like to grab photos of everyone before they leave because it's really fun to just keep them and all of that. Look how cute. Yeah. Oh, look at Nancy. I think she's pregnant. She had the pregnancy walk. Oh, that's cute. Okay, a photo with Jess. Who's that in the background? I don't even know. And then a last photo with Genesis. Oh, we're still in our- okay, wait, let me change out of this. Let's put this new cool, super cool outfit on and then go ahead and grab a photo with Genesis, who's looking 
adorable. And then can we like grab posters? We don't even need money though, but. Angie! Let's go ahead and get a photo. I still have no idea what's up with Ken. Like why is this even? Oh, she's really sad still. Wait, her bruises are back? I have no idea. Oh no, look at that. She's gotten like kicked in the stomach. This is really bad. Discuss her sad mood. I kind of want to know what has happened. And then maybe we can go ahead and like stargaze or something. Other oh, good friends. Girl. Maybe we can brighten her mood by discussing, you know, being sad. And also I'll go ahead and stargaze with Genesis. She's probably oh. our closest coworker. <laughs> and she's been in a really, really bad mood for a long, long time. And I just feel really bad. Like, what? Oh, wait, she just peed herself. What? There's a toilet inside. Okay, I feel really bad for her now. Can we not ask her to scar stargaze? I'm so, so Okay, look at that. Oh no, she's laying in her pee. No. This is like, okay, insane. Friendship goals. One's laying in their pee all dirty, and we're kind of going to a fight. I don't even know how. But on this note, I think this is a good point to wrap up this episode. Let me know what you thought about episode three and everything that went down. I still don't know what in the whole world happened with Ken and Araminta. And I think in the next episode, we'll probably try and get a little cat. I don't know. It's just been focusing on work and friendships in this episode and enemies, apparently. But I hope you all enjoyed. And please leave suggestions to just anything what you thought of the video. I do really, really appreciate it. And I will see you all with episode four soon. So take care. Bye.